What's up, dudes? Max here. So New York Comic Con is going on right now. Got a tease from Ed that there might be some Mortal Kombat 1 related news happening at Comic Con. And yeah, lo and behold, earlier today, we got a whole press kit from Warner Brothers that we got an official announcement of the first uh, DLC character that is going to be playable in MK1. Obviously, it's Omni-Man. And I think that's related because there's, you know, a new a new show for Invincible coming out. And there is a direct time frame for a lot of the characters in MK1 when they're going to come out. I'm not exactly super thrilled about it, but I haven't had a chance to see the full Omni-Man trailer uh, in general. I hope it's kind of long. I hope we get at least a breakdown of some moves and stuff like that. But I think he's coming out fairly soon. I think he's a uh, November character. So let's fire up the trailer and then go over some of the other information that happened at Comic-Con earlier today for Mortal Kombat 1. You have destroyed worlds. I have erased whole time. I'm so unfamiliar with Invincible stuff. I just know the memes. It looks cartoony. What the heck? Whoa, that was not Scorpion. What the? Oh, okay. Tremor is first the uh, first cameo assist. I know the memes. I understand fully. I claim this timeline for the Viltrum Empire. You will burn for this invasion. Man, sup Superman guy doing a lot of punching. What the hell? Hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey, what? Hey, what? Was that a part of the move? That was my video player, sorry. I think that was a, uh, a parry? Oh, God! No, don't touch his face. It's horrifying. Oh, God, it's horrifying. All those poor people. Oh, God. okay. All right. The fatalities are great. I need to review because I need to go back and see what the hell we're talking about gameplay wise. What are we talking about? So friggin' uh, Tremor is just chilling back here. Yeah, he's just hanging out. They went with kind of like the classic Tremor design, MK. Well, I think every character is sort of like MK2-ish looking. Omni-Man looks very puffy. He, I mean, granted, he's like a big buff dude. I, I get that, but he's looking very puffy, like more comically puffy than any other character in the game so far. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you just have scorpions uh, forward three, two? Yes, you do. The I is this, I don't know if he's done yet. <laughs> okay, he's got a slam down special. This looks great. My God, dude. The meme stuff looks good. Yeah, dude, Tremor's kind of doing very scorpion-y looking things. This is like, like a projectile assist of some kind. And it's, and it's going in like the exact same direction that Scorpions does. I don't know, Tremor, I need to see something else, man. This is an, am it's a parry. Absolutely amazing looking parry. Holy crap. Super sick. And then fatalities, yeah, the fatalities look good. I'm not surprised that the fatalities look good. What I am a little miffed by is that I think on a presentation level, like, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of this stuff going on, right? There's a, there's a whole bunch of that. I don't know if I'm super inspired from his gameplay because we saw, I think, no kidding, two special moves this one slam down air grab special you know sort of like ferritor ish <laughs> okay I'm getting beat up and then a obvious like physical maybe projectile counter that does look dope yeah this is this is really neat but oh man i wish they showed more I don't know if we get any sort of like resemblance of what his gameplay is actually going to be from this trailer very much. Um, I mean, I think the I think the voice, the fact that they got the voice actor is very cool. What J.K. Simmons? Um, I just think overall, compared to the other characters, he looks like he's from a different game. Just a little bit. He kind of looks like he's from a different game. Um, either way, 
Omni Man's the first DLC character, and it's like, okay, yeah, it was at it was at Comic Con. That was going to be an obvious uh, an obvious response from everybody, right? Uh, but the big one is that there's more news that came out from this. There's there's quite a bit more news that that is available here. So here's here's the actual news related to the characters. Um, they pretty much announced that there is going to be uh, three new playable Mortal Kombat characters. Obviously, Quan Chi, Ermac, and Takeda. Uh, Quan Chi is winter 2023 slash 2024, so he's not going to be out anytime soon. Um, they also technically give us a, a time frame for Omni Man and Tremor. I forgot to mention that, and it is going to be in November of 2023. So within about a month or so from now, we should be playing as this character as well as a new cameo, which is pretty exciting. Because I think the game obviously just feels like we need more cameos as of right now, or more like efficient cameos. Some of them are good, but some of them are obviously way better. Quan Chi is the first, of course he is, Quan Cheadle, the first playable MK character. Ermac, though, we won't get to see this dude's ugly wrinkled ass until spring of 2024. So Ermac and Akuma are going to be launching in similar time frames uh, around Street Fighter and this game, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so it's funny that they're doing one comic book character, technically like, you know, the guest character, sorry, and then two MK characters. So this is going up until uh, spring of 2024. It also says that Takeda is summer of 2024. Summer. My boy has been pushed out what feels like a year from now. I am not super thrilled about that. I'm really hoping that some of the gameplay for these characters is really what's interesting me because I'm sort of on a character crisis right now of who I want. I really enjoy the game. I'm just like waiting on a character. Uh, they do mention that the th new guest fighters, Omni-Man is obviously November. Peacemaker is going to be uh, winter of 2023, 2024. So he's going to be around the same time frame as Quan Chi a little bit. And then Homelander is going to be spring, so he's showing up next to Ermac around the first uh, first quarter, first quarter-ish of next year. Uh, and then along with that, we got a whole bunch of cameo characters, um, along with Farah, Chameleon, Movado, and this was the big one, uh, Janet Cage. Yeah, there was seemingly a change, but this is kind of crazy because people might have like, you know, I don't think anybody like this exists, but people could have been out there and they're like, dude, the cameo, I'm sorry, the, the DLC pack for this game said specifically that there is going to be a, uh, a Johnny Cage cameo. I paid for a Johnny Cage cameo. Who the hell is this chick, right? Uh, this is potentially a story mode spoiler. I don't want to mess with anybody's expectations, but it is a story mode spoiler. I, uh, I'm kind of shocked that there was already expectations and changes made to the release schedule of DLC for this game, which is kind of wild that Janet Cage of all characters, mind you, story spoiler, is, uh, is going to be a, is going to replace the Johnny Cage cameo. That's cool. I'm, I'm, I think that's actually better than just having Johnny Cage, right? I, I actually think it's cooler by having the, the twisted amalgamation characters, like the weird multiverse characters, replace some of the other ones. I think it would have been even better for like Scorpion and Sub-Zero and, you know, some of the ones where it's like, oh, now you have a Scorpion Scorpion team or a Sub-Zero Scorpion team. I think it would have been better if we got some crazy weird hybrid stuff. And I hope that's what they do in this situation. But in, other, in the other cases of like Farah. Chameleon, Movado, well, they're not present in the game already. So it kind of makes sense that they're cameo characters. I hope they do that from this point forward, right? If we're going to get classic Reptile as a cameo character of some kind, then do some weird twist to it. I would, I actually would not mind if they do some weird funky thing with the cameo versions of characters where they make them, you know, uh, twist it up, similar to all the crazy multiverse shenanigans that happens in this game. Either way, I'm I'm a little underwhelmed by what we saw with Omni-Man, simply because I uh, haven't seen a ton of Invincible, very familiar with all the meme stuff. I know there's another season of the character coming out, so there's obviously some cross-promotional happening there, but from like, dude, from the little bit that we're seeing of this, I feel like it's a little uninspired. Um, it leaves me kind of concerned because this dude also very much a similar thing. 
uh granted the powers are going to be different the uh the moves will also be different but it's also like a superhero superman i'm invincible kind of punch guy and then you have uh john cena so what i'm kind of looking forward to the most believe it or not is is how these characters play now especially this character plays and if there's one thing i can take from this other than the fact that yeah you're takeda is actually the last character like even if we talk about peacemaker which was the uh which is the last character that's a guest character showing up in mk1 dude he's not showing up until spring of next year takeda is like the final character of this dlc which i feel like is weird i don't know if that many people are looking forward to takeda making him either like the first or final one it feels like he'd be better put in the middle still it is a bummer that we got to wait that long for uh that i personally have to wait this long for this character but at least that that does leave me with some optimism that by the time this happens, they'll have a pretty clear and concise idea of what makes characters good in MK1, because even developers learn this as the game goes along. If developers knew this at the start, then every character would be fully kitted with all this great and, you know, every, every character would be dope. But it's pretty painfully obvious that in MK right now, the better characters are really good. The better cameos are really good. And playing anything below that, your character just has like no mix, right? You're just hoping that the opponent just doesn't know. Um, and that's kind of the case in a lot of NRS games. So I'm hoping with that, and this has been the case a lot in the past with DLC for NRS titles, is that the future DLC characters sometimes do get more sauce, right? Not all the time. Granted, Melina in MK11 exists, and that character was like, why is she so stumpy? What the hell's going on? It hasn't been the case for every single game, but in, in the past, especially in Justice 2 and MKX, yeah, those DLC characters are given mega sauce, and they are crazy good in some situations. I'm only hoping Takeda's kind of like that. I want him to be fully realized instead of just getting, like, you know, one kind of version of what he was in the previous game where I kind of mained him. So either way, I think it's good that we're getting more. I wish there was some more announcements of, like, other stuff talking about where the game might be going and what they're doing or changing or adjusting but it feels like they're just too busy making characters and shit which isn't exactly a bad thing it's kind of surprising though that they're on a release window that's not close to monthly or even bi-monthly no dude they, we're looking at like a street fighter 6 release window of these characters and it's going to be a hell of a long time before even combat pack one is finished clearly there's going to be more and clearly mk1 is going to be a game they're working on for a long time so i'm not too disappointed by that all i got to say is that this could be disappointing for some if the game was not fun but they are lucky they're very lucky that mk1 is actually a super fun game and in my opinion is the most fun i've been having with any nrs game since mortal kombat x so There'll always be reasons to come back and play, that's for sure. Either way, if you guys saw this trailer, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if Omni-Man's a character you're really going to be wanting to pick up. I'm I'm probably waiting the most right now for, I'd say, Takeda and Ermac. Those are the two I want to see how they play the most, but we're going to have to be waiting a while for that. Either way, thank you dudes a ton for watching. I'll be back with more updates as soon as possible. There's a bunch of stuff happening at Comic-Con that I'll have to make videos on. But until then, I appreciate any feedback on the video. If you leave a thumbs up, that means a lot. My name is Max, and I'll see you dudes next time.